Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La Assalamualaikum, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadia. Today we will be going over Islam al Fiqh, Lesson 7, The Names of Allah. So let's get started. In all that we have said about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can see that He has many names, attributes. Through His names, we learn of His powers and His traits. This information is useful in learning how to better serve Him. You may have heard of the 99 beautiful names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are found in different parts of the Quran. You have already learned some of them. There is one particular passage in the Quran in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals much about himself through many of his names and attributes. Allah is he, besides whom there is no other God, the knower of the visible and the invisible. He is the most gracious, most merciful. Allah is He, besides whom there is no other God, the King, the Holy, the sh source of peace and salvation, the Keeper of faith, the Guardian, the Majestic, the Compeller, the Supreme. Glory to Allah. High is He above the partners that, that men may attribute to Him. He is Allah, the Creator, the Shaper out of Naught. His alone are the beautiful names. All that, all that is in the heavens and the earth glorify Him. And He is the Mighty, the Wise. al Hashr, Surah 59, Ayat 22-24 Two very important names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala found in the Quran repeatedly at the, and at the beginning of almost every surah are Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the most gracious, the most merciful. From these names, we, we understand the magnitude of Allah's grace and mercy. We find evidence of this fact in every blessing He has given us. Think about what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done for you. It is overwhelming. We should remember Allah's blessings to us and be grateful for his mercy. In another phrase, verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, All light is Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. And nor Surah twenty four Ayat thirty five. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Quran, and we, God, are nearer to him, man, than his jugular vein. Kaf, fifth, Surah 50, Ayat 16. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so great because he is never far away where he cannot see us, see or hear us. He says, Call unto me, and I will respond to you. Qafr, Surah 40, Ayat 60. Moreover, it has been reported by Abu Hurairah, anhu, that Rasulullah said, Ihsan is to worship Allah as if you see him, and if you do not achieve this state of devotion, then Allah sees you, transmitted by Sahih Muslim. Obviously, it is important that we are conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times and that we behave with the full understanding that He is per present with us and a witness to all that we do. Now it's time for the questions. Number one. 
Let's discuss the meaning of the passage in the Quran, Surah Al Hajjah, Surah 59. What I wrote down is the passage obviously means that there is no God but Allah. Allah wants us to worship none but Him. The passage passage speaks of all the traits he has has and says he has the most beautiful name, such as the source of peace and salvation, the supreme and the majestic. Number two, in what ways is Allah similar to Allah gracious and merciful to human beings? Well, number two is, Allah is gracious and merciful for every blessing he has given us and done for us. If you think about it, it's really overwhelming. And number three. What are some of the things that you like best in the world, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us? I wrote, I like best my wonderful family, all the libraries I go to, all the parks around me, but most of all, I love my wonderful Umi. Now, if you're going to write this down, you might also want to leave a comment and tell me what you like best about the world. Now, in the next episode, we'll be going over Lesson 8, Islam Qahidun Zaq, Creation of the First Man. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Assalamualaikum and have a blessed day. Thanks again for watching this week's episode. Here's a schedule of what will be on this channel, inshallah. Islamic Al-Qaeda and Fiqh every Tuesday, Quran and Hadith recitation every Thursday, and Islamic Storytime every Saturday. Stay blessed and don't forget to subscribe. Assalamualaikum. Alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah.